welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania, Lords of Shadow 2. I'm Burning Dog Face. Oh. And I'm not doing very well at the beginning of this video. This is Castle Dracula, under siege. supposed to do here. Just take a look around. Can I just go up from here? I can't. Duh. What's up, giant face? The head's probably important, right? Darkness. Fuck your shield! I'll eat you anyway. Take him down. Okay, but I mean, I wouldn't think you guys would be into that. Oh, you meant me, them. <laughs> oh yeah, that's stuff. I just hope there's something good left inside, Gabriel. You can knock them down by dodging into them. That's really good to know. Oh no, you died! He won't be needing this anyway. Hello? Um... I can honestly say I wasn't expecting that to happen. Oh. I just had that tower remodeled. He insists that there's nothing left of Gabriel Belmont. Huh. There's nothing left of Gabriel Belmont in there. He's 
still uses a whip. When he uses an energy spell. To, uh... Create his primary attack. He uses the form of a whip. Of any kind of ranger attack. You can break the paladin's defense with a strong head. So it's not an angel. It's just a man. Which means it's full of delicious blood! Ow. No. Oh, fuck this, I'm doing this with my power. Double health bar. Maybe I should uh, top myself up. Ow. Man, this sword seems to be. And that's kind of the point. Prince of Darkness. I get the best toys. Been there, done that. Got the t-shirt. Ah, fuck. You don't belong in this world. Fond of that move, aren't you? But your God showed me another path. Messias, Emmanuel, Sotel, Sarahot, Achios, Inkiros, Athanatos, Jehovah, Adonai. That's why the power of your God cannot destroy. Because I am 
his chosen one. Ubi fulent haec nomina et digna dei, pregibus vobis, at quelligamus vos ut non habiatus. Utis potis datum, per pestem, nec per aliquod, quondeemque maleficium noceri e incantationem neque in anima nec Incorporate! Holy... Even unlocked false chosen one. In ages long past, there was once a warrior who was both noble and brave beyond all measure. His deeds of heroism and skill in combat were legend. His name was whispered within the hallowed halls of men for countless generations. Yet now his name is lost. Lost in the mists of time forever. It is said that destiny delights in the misfortunes of men, and so it proved true for Gabriel Belmont. For even after defeating the Lords of Shadow and ending their reign of terror, his soul was consumed by the very darkness that he sought to destroy, as that ancient prophecy foretold. Whomsoever defeats the Lords of Shadow will sit upon their throne to rule as the Prince of Darkness. But before fate had played its hand, and unknown to Gabriel, his beloved wife, Marie, conceived a son by him. The Brotherhood of Light warned her of that ancient prophecy and the terrible fate which lay before her husband. So, with heavy heart, she concealed her pregnancy. For it is written that only the blood of that lineage has the power to defeat the Prince of Darkness. Thus. When newly born, the child Trevor was hidden from his father and raised a holy warrior of the Brotherhood in secret, so that one day he would be ready to stand against his own blood, as foretold. That day would come, some 25 years later, for what had once been Gabriel Belmont was now a powerful vampire known as Dracula, the Dragon. The Brotherhood of Light fought against the onslaught of his dark armies, which laid waste to towns and villages across the land, but to little avail. Trevor was now fully grown to manhood, and the truth of his origin and destiny of the Belmont clan was finally revealed to him. So he set out to confront his father and end his family shame forever. But Trevor failed and was mortally wounded in the confrontation with his father. He was no match for Dracula's terrible power. Yet, as he lay dying, Trevor finally revealed his true identity. Dracula was driven mad with grief and rage over the revelation. He desperately sought to save his dying son by giving him his own lifeblood. But it was too late, or so he thought. Dracula buried his son within the walls of his great castle and then swore bloody vengeance upon the world. Raising an army of creatures beholden only to him, he struck with fury and merciless cruelty at humanity. He vowed to hunt God's children for all eternity. But fate still had one last card to play. Dracula's blood had power, and that power now coursed through the veins of his dead son slowly reviving him over many years, 
until one night, he emerged once more into the world, not as a man, but as a creature like his father. What had once been Trevor Belmont was now gone forever. He was now a vampire like his father. Though he swore that he would not be like him, he would take the name Alucard. He would be a force for good, opposing his father's capacity for evil. In that very moment, Alucard swore to destroy Dracula. But fate had something else in mind. Meanwhile, Trevor's own son grew into a fearsome warrior with a reputation that far exceeded even that of his illustrious father. Simon Belmont knew little of his own lineage, nor his importance in the events to come. All he knew was that his mother had died at the hands of Dracula's minions when he was but an infant, and his father had been killed in single combat with Dracula. Found and raised by the people of White Mountains, Simon had but one purpose in life, to destroy Dracula for the murder of his parents. After years of training in the arts of war, Simon set off for Dracula's castle and a date with destiny. Once in the castle, Simon met Alucard, and knowing little of the true identity of his companion, joined forces with him. Blood bound them together, and fate took a hand once again, as finally they met their dreaded foe in mortal combat. Simon defeated Dracula with his whip, and yet Alucard sensed that all was not as it should be. Dracula would return. That's always a good sign. An unusual hiding place for the Prince of Darkness. Don't you think? Zobek, where have you been all this time? So is this after that? And what of you? Why have you been hiding all this time? Gabriel. Don't you dare call me that. He sent Dracul.
What do you want, old friend? Satan's acolytes are readying for his imminent return. Help me stop him. Or you and I will become his favorite pets. For all eternity. just said many centuries later, but I'm going to assume until told otherwise that this is the year 2014. Ancient foe, we meet at last. <laughs> of course there are skids in front of the building. Of course there are! They've no doubt been keeping watch on Gabriel during his long slumber. They don't care whether they stand for good or evil. As long as they oppose me. I'll just sit over here and ask for change. No, I can't go in there. There's an invisible wall. Well! I can honestly say I wasn't expecting them to summarize the entirety of uh, Mirror of Fate. I guess that's in case people uh, played the first, you know, played Lords of Shadow but skipped the portable only one. Although, you know, the HD version uh, had come out on consoles and Steam. Uh, before this game came out, so, you know, there's that. I think it was right before this on, uh, Steam, actually. It might have been, like, January 2014? 2014? Yeah. Whatever. Um. Well. I'm not really sure what happened there at the end of the last playable segment with... <laughs> Gabriel nuking the world and Alucard showing up and destroying, uh... And well, Alucard just showed up, and they confronted each other. But whatever the case, this is what we've been waiting for ever since that after credit scene from the first game. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Castlevania, Lords of Shadow 2 when Dracula emerges into the modern world. Later.